Hey surveys, and welcome back to K Popsicles. I'm Paige and once again I'm back by myself. If you guys haven't seen our previous videos, that is because all of our pre-recorded videos for this week and next week had no audio. <laughs> our mic cord cracked the bed on us. So once again I'm back doing a re-recording of our videos. But don't worry, it's okay. We got all the thoughts, even though it's not our first, you know, watch through. I have our original thoughts. Anyway, <laughs> so we just got done checking out um, our babies, Jungkook with uh, Suga and their song uh, Stay Alive, which is uh, made for the Chaco uh, webtoon, um, and it's freaking amazing, so go check that out before this one. Um, now we're heading into the brand new girl group, um, the debut of the girl group Vivis, um, and their song Bop Bop. So what's interesting about this is I guess they, um, they're made up of former members of G-Friend. Um, so it's three of the former members. Um, like I said, I'm not the girl group stan in our friendship. Kate is the girl group stan, so she knows more about them. I really didn't get into G-Friend at all, so I went into this completely blind and not knowing anybody. We did end up looking up their profiles during our, our initial reaction, um, so I won't do that just yet in this one. Um, I'll just go through but we did go through their initial profiles um and like i said once we watch more stuff we'll go through it again um but i was really surprised once again um at this like like i said i'm not a huge girl group stan so um it's just one of those things where i was like oh interesting i like it okay <laughs> Um, so yeah, before we jump in, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below in the description box so people can come over and check us out. We do live stages, drum reactions, variety shows, dance practices. You can join our Discord. Basically everything you can't do here on YouTube. We also post free videos over there for you guys to get blocked out of our channel because we're not going to make you pay for this. Give it free. That's just stupid. Speaking of our Patreon, we're currently, sorry, we're currently watching Run BTS Island, the Produce 101, the series, uh, season one. The Isaacs, Strong Woman Do Bong Soon, Got Seven's Hard Carry, Got Seven's Dream Night, and I have my own segment called Pint Size where I react to dramas on my own. Currently, I am watching the drama Doom at Your Service. The first episode is available for free for you guys, and if you enjoy my reaction, you can join a $5 tier to get the rest of the episodes. Also, speaking of our Patre Patreon, after I finish Doom at Your Service on the Pint Size segment, I will be starting Imitation since that won the poll. Also, if you want to follow us over on Twitter, our handle will be on screen. We post every single day over there with videos dropping, so you guys can stay up to date what we're doing here on our channel. Also, guys, we are so, so close to hitting our 1,000 subscribers because you guys are so amazing. Your support means the absolute world to us. Um, and to give back in honor of you guys, we want to do a 1,000 subscriber special once we hit it. And we're trying to, we want to do a QA and a uh, with you guys probably, like, during a live stream. Um, but if you guys have, like, whatever questions you guys want us to ask, whether it's during our live stream or, um, you know, prior leave them either down below in the comments we have a post up over on our community tab you guys can leave your questions there um over on our twitter you can message us on our instagram same thing um leave whatever um questions you want us to add to answer um on any of those uh places and we will be sure to respond to them during um our q a special so enough talking let's hop in guys here we go there's no captions for this one but that's okay like i said that's just life for international stand um this is vivi's bop bop so here we go. One thing I noted too um, is that it was like the beginning part of it was like it was like talking backwards. This is very much retro vibes too. I believe that girl is Unha. This girl, Unji. She's the one who has stood out to me throughout this whole video. Like, something about her just caught my eye. And then the girl in the blue is Simbi. They're all gorgeous, but Unji, um, like I said, she has this, like, her, the, her charisma is off the charts, and there's just something about her that draws your attention. But I really like Cindy's voice. Yeah, 
Okay, I think the reason why I like Cindy's voice is because it's a little deeper huskier than the others. And it's like 70s guitar. Definitely lends to that whole like retro kind of vibe. And the choreo is really great too. If I remember too correctly, from the profile, Onji is the Magne, and I'm like, of course she'd be the Magne because I just have a talent for either picking rappers or Magnes or both, and it just happened. This scene in particular, me and Kate were both like sitting there thinking, I'm like, and I was going to sit, I was like, um, does this remind you of like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the Glass Elevator? <laughs> I mean, they all have courage, huh? It's definitely grown on me more from the first listen. Because, like, I liked it and I enjoyed the song a lot, but it wasn't, like... But now that I've heard it again, I'm like, I'm more into it now. Yeah, they did a great job. They did an amazing job with this, so. So that was Vivi's Bop Bop. This debut was really great. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, the first time I listened through, I, I liked it, but it wasn't like, it didn't really catch me as much as like other ones do and now that I've heard it a sec second you know listen through um like had me really groove into it um so Kate's thoughts so yeah VV's is made of three former members of G-Friend after their disbandment so it's Unha, Sinbi, and Umji and yes Umji is the one who stood out the most to you um yeah it's just something about her like all the girls had charisma all of them are gorgeous um just Umji had a little extra oomph to her I don't know why um, we really love the retro vibe of the song set and styling. It really fit everything. Everything tied together really well. Um, uh, another thought she had, she said she really liked how they had signature colors, uh, and kept those in both the white and black outfits. This is actually something that, um, I agree with her on. Um, I don't know if they're going to do it every time. And obviously you can't always just go whatever. But I also think for new fans too who, um, since it is a Dave group and may not know the members previously, um, it's nice to have that little touch of like identification for a member like, oh, the girl in the red, the girl in the blue, the girl in the purple. Like they each have a signature color and it sticks with them. So it makes it easier to be like, okay, who's the girl in the red? And be like, bam. And oh, it's Umji. Oh, who's the girl in the purple? Oh, that's Unha. Like it's just easier to kind of catch on and that way the more you see it and the more you think about it the easier it is to remember um yes Sinbi's voice sounds really really nice in the chorus like I said uh, out of all their voices I think I like Sinbi's the most just because it is a little bit of a huskier deeper tone compared to the other two um but Umji has a very unique tone to her as well and then she said the scene with Unha on the bike gives her life. And I'm like, yes, we love badass females. Like, she was killing that. She looked so good. Um, and I love motorcycles. I, I adore them. So the fact that they had, like, her on the bike just being all badass, I was like, yes. Um, so I agree with Kate on that statement. Um, everything about this was amazing. And you can definitely tell, like, because they were previously in, you know, a girl group, they definitely have the experience behind them um to continue on um and i think they did a great job with you know doing that and being part of a new group and stuff like that they really use their experience to their advantage um they 
know how to flirt with the camera. They know how to put on, um, you know, the, those like coy looks to them and they, they slay it. They slay it. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking out more from them actually. Um, this is one of those groups, like I said, I was a little unsure going in. Uh, I always keep an open mind, but I was like, okay and like i said now that it's definitely one of those songs that has grown on me so um i don't think i have anything else to say for this one so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did uh i'll leave a link to our patreon our instagram and our twitter down below in the description box if you want to check us out it really help us out so, so much seriously your support means the absolute absolute world to us welcome to all of our new videos you guys are seriously amazing we love you and we'll see you guys next time